So continuing to work with modeling and uh, using splines as a modeling tool, um, something we need to look at is uh, optimizing our splines to suit the best uh, variables for our need. And so I'm going to click on this spline right now and you can see that it's pretty smooth. Uh, if you scroll down and look at all the options available uh, for your spline, object, I'm going to drag this up so we can see all of them. Uh, you can see that there are none. And you'll notice that makes a very straight linear spline. There's natural um, that sort of, and then it, with natural you can change the number of points in between. Uh, it seems to have very little effect. There's uniform, and there's adaptive as well as subdivided. Now, I'll go back and change some of those numbers again and, uh, on some other options, and we'll see what it actually does. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create something like a, let's create a sweep nerves. I'm going to put my line in there. It's not doing anything yet. Let's put a, let's use a circle. And I'll make that a little bit smaller. And so we want the circle to be first, the spline to be second. And this is going to create a sweep nerves object. Okay, so let's go back to editing our spline. Now you can see uh, the sweep nerves object with natural on zero. So we've got none, we've got natural set to zero. So we didn't see any, any obvious difference in our spline, but notice it does make a difference in the sweep nerves object. So I can add points to this to make it more or less smooth. So this is adding uh, sort of a set number of points in between. Uniform does the same thing, uh, it's just a slightly different uh, way that it decides where the points go. Those two are very similar. Um, adaptive, it tries to figure out uh, based on the location of your point what the curve uh, angle should be, uh, but you tend to get with adaptive You'll notice here in the bump of the S, I get a little little hit right there that's sort of a, sort of a bump or an angle. Um, subdivided usually makes an even more smooth, uh, usually the smoothest uh, version of the sweep nerves object. And so generally speaking, yeah, you want to stick with um, subdivided, but Adaptive or one of these others may work depending on what you're looking for. It very well may be that you want to have this sort of look and you want to see these kinks showing up in your objects. So just be aware of these options and use them to the best of your uh, abilities to suit uh, the project that you're working on.